Hi, my name is Stephen Kelly, Mason. I've been a Mason for a good part of 35 years, and, uh, and during those 35 years, I've laid brick, block, and stone, built fireplaces, patios, walkways, barbecues, lots of walls, and you name it, I'll build it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna to do today is we're gonna give you a layout on the tools that you're gonna to need to do these projects. Number one is your wheelbarrow. It doesn't have to be as big as this, but this is what you're gonna mix your mortar in. So get something close. And if you don't have one, you don't wanna pay the money for one, go down and rent it. Second is a flat point shovel like this. Get them in all the material yards. Just a flat point. It's for scooping sand and mortar and everything, etc. Round point will not work. Now this is a masonry hoe, and this is what you'll mix your mortar up with in that wheelbarrow. But a regular garden hoe will work. And then another tool is your mortar stand. And this is right here is what's going to hold the mortar on the board. Put it out like so. And get yourself a piece of half inch or five eighths plywood. It can even be three quarter and at least two foot square. And this is what it'll look like. Put it on top of that. This is what you're going to take your mortar out of the wheelbarrow and you would be putting it on here. So let's start with my four foot level. It's uh, an American made, it's wood, it's very expensive. You probably not want to go this way, but uh, it's very necessary in building. And I'll show you what you can do if you don't want to go to the expense of like $50 for a level. You can go down to one of the hardware stores and get this little guy right here. It's uh, out of plastic, it'll work just fine. And uh, take a four foot board or so, and you can put your little level on it, and you can use that as the level. So it, therefore, you got four feet. And next, we'll start out with a good masonry trawl. It's about 11 inches long and about four and a half inches wide. Very necessary. Go down to the material yard, find one that fits your hand that you feel good with, and that'll do you. Next is margin trawls. They're small ones like this. This is good for pointing, tuck pointing, and another little square one right here. As we go through the jobs, you'll see how necessary they are. Right here we have a concave joiner. This is very necessary. And uh, what we'll use this for is joining after we've laid the blocks and the brick and etc. You should use it for joining. It's called a concave joiner. And this one right here is a rake joiner. And you just use it to rake the joints out. I'm sure you've seen that. Later on we'll show you how to do it. And we have a brick hammer. This is really necessary. It's about like so. Go down there, find one to fit your hand, pick it out because you're going to need it when you start doing your masonry work. And a little sledgehammer like this, it's a three pounder uh, for putting in stakes and etc. Maybe breaking some stone, works good. And then a chisel, a four inch chisel. This is necessary and then there's also an inch and a half and a two inch, but I like these two right here. Go with a nice little square like this, fits in a bucket. It's very necessary when you want to make a square on something if you wanted to square off with a pencil. Next we're going to go with a carpenter's pencil. They're about eight inches long and they're flat. They have a lot of lead in them so this is a very very important tool to have. And crayons. You can get them in different colors. Blue, yellow, red, etc. For making marks and stuff like that especially on block. This works good. And get yourself a nice little knife for sharpening that pencil, cutting lines, etc. Next thing we're going to need is a masonry brush, about like so. You can go down to the hardware store, they have them down there. And a good pair of wire cutters. You have to have wire, you have to tie some steel in your block work and stuff. It's always good to have a pair of good wire cutters. And line, nylon line. This is about a thousand feet, one of our newer colors, really bright. And uh, I always like to take uh, 
a stick and take about 200 feet out and put it on the stick and then I can put the line away in my bag and go with this. This will last for a long time, but it's, it's good. It stretches and you can take a lot of strength. And these right here are adjustable little brackets that you use like uh, line blocks and uh, they fit right over the block itself. And uh, they're adjustable. They can use it on an eight inch block, a six inch block, a 12 inch block, and they adjust up and down. And in a little while, I'll be showing you how to use those. And also a good pair of cotton gloves. There's a couple different kinds, a uh, couple of dollars a pair. Very necessary with block, because block are really sharp. And a set of line blocks. Wood, get them at the material yard. In a little while, I'm gonna show you how to use them. And this little guy was hiding. It's a little sub-level. This is necessary when you're building leads. And when you're building leads, you want it for plumbing and leveling, small stuff. And now we're going to make a batch of mortar. We're going to start out with 12 shovels of sand, three shovels of cement, and two shovels of fire clay. And if you don't like fire clay, which I do, you can use lime. So here we go. Make all shovels even. One, two, 11, and 12. And next step, we're gonna put in three shovels of cement. One, two, three, right there. Next step, two shovels of fire clay. One, and two. And like I said, if you don't use fire clay, you can use lime. But the mixture is always the same with a wheelbarrow of this size. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take the hoe and move all the material forward. And then I'm gonna come around and move it around, go to that side and bring all the material back to that side, get it ready for the water for this side. But the idea is to mix all the sand, the clay, and the cement all together. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start mixing this up dry. Bringing it all forward, taking it right down to the bottom, get the sand and the cement and the clay all mixed up really good, like so. Okay, now we'll bring it back this way. Mixing it up nice and smooth here. The smoother you make this, and when you're mixing it with the water, it'll be a lot easier and it won't lump up too bad for you. Now you can see how it's come together. There. Now we're going to start adding the water, so I'm going to go back to that end of the wheelbarrow. Always use this end of the wheelbarrow. Okay, now what we're going to do is we've got a five gallon bucket of water, and what we're going to do is put about two gallons in this guy right now, about like that. We can always add more later. And here we go with our mix. Just a little bit at a time, going all the way to the bottom. That way it kind of creates a toe, just like this. Yeah, it's starting to tighten up. This is probably the hardest part of the mix. Like we're ready to add just a little more water. We 
remember now, just a little bit of water at a time from now on. Push her down. Like this is going to work out just right. Probably used about three gallons of water there. all the lumps out of it looking good almost there oh, I think we have it and when as soon as you're through mixing with the hoe you put it in a bucket of water and you clean it up like that then you don't have to worry about any mortar building up on it the shovel and you wet it down because you never want to put a dry shovel into that otherwise it'll all stick to the shovel and it won't slide off and go on the mud board now we're going to go to break and as soon as we get back we'll get ready to start laying some block Now we're going to put some mortar on the board and get started land block. Notice how I picked the shovel up like this right here. So you use the muscles under your arm. If you lift like this, it's a big suction and it's really hard on you. So if you go like this, you, you can lift twice as much. Okay, back in the water. Now for everybody that's learning, you take a little bit of mortar and put it on your trawl about like so. And this is, this is watch this right here, because this is the way I'm gonna spread it on the block. The first inch or so of the, of the uh, trawl, you take and turn it up, and that's the way you're gonna spread it. And this is the way you can practice. You can spend hours doing the same thing. And when you get it right, You'll be ready for your block. There we go. Now we'll start laying some block. Okay, now. We'll lay a little mortar out here. Block. Okay, we'll lay our first block. Here we go. Now I've drawn a chalk line along here, so that way I can line it up. I know exactly where the expansion joint right here I'm starting. So I've got my chalk line there. I've got to move it right into the line. Next thing I do, I'll take this little level. I'll put it on there and see what we got. A little bit high on this end, so I'll... Now we're gonna put a little mortar on here for the half block on the lead. Okay, here we go.
then take my trawl, about the first three to a half inches or so of the trawl, and just cut your mortar off. Have anything on the foundation, floor? Pick it up. You'll be using it. Running level here. Pretty good there. A little bit this way. Right there. Plumb. This is called plumbing. You want to make sure it get it nice and straight. There we go. You plumb two corners. Just like that. That lead is ready to go. Now we're going to go down to this corner right here, this end and we're going to put a little lead just like this right there. This wall is going to be five feet, uh, six feet long. This wall is exactly the kind of wall that I learned how to lay block on when I was in school. So there you go. Okay, now that this is, uh, we're going to take and lay this out. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to measure this with my measuring tape. Make sure it's right on 80 inches, it's right on. That's good. Get that little lead going. Here we go. Right on the line. Now, we'll check it with the level. Perfect. Check it this way. Perfect. We're good to go on that one. Now we'll put a little more mortar on the top for get ready for that half. That guy right in place. Just like that. Notice when I take the mortar off of there, I do a little snap. That way it stays on the trawl. Back to the level. The lead always has to be perfect. If the lead's perfect, the rest of the wall will be perfect. So take your time, do a good job on your lead. Now it's level. Check the plumb. Perfect. And check this corner. Let's have a look to see what we got. Perfect. There you go. Now that the lead is in, we're going to stretch a line and lay these blocks in in the center. I'm going to show you how to use that line and those blocks. Okay, here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to set the block here so and, and the line. So what we do is we put the line in the block about like so and probably bring it around twice and then lock it up just like that. So the tighter you pull it, the stronger it is. And I'll lay it on the first course just like so. And then we'll take the block and we'll go to the other end. Okay, now we're at the other end here. We'll just put that block on the same way just like so. It's just enough tension. We'll wrap it around twice and come up inside there. And if one isn't enough, we'll wrap it twice. Right there. Now, what we want to do is the line to follow the top of this particular block. Okay, now we're going to spread some mortar and lay these blocks in. <laughs> 